Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. Today I am super excited as we're going to make this Tetris game using DeepSeek. And not to worry guys, I'm gonna also provide you code and you will see how easy it is for you to create without even knowing a single line of a code. So are you ready to create your own game? Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. If you are not aware of Visual Studio Code, then check out the video link that I have added in the description of this one. That video will show you step by step how you can download and set up Visual Studio Code. Now here, after opening Visual Studio Code, let's click here on open folder. Now, either create a new folder or select the folder where you would like to create your new project. So here, I'm gonna create my new project so i'm gonna say it totally depend on you what name you would like to give it so i'm gonna say the same my new project or probably i should write tetris okay and let's select this folder and now we are ready from vs code side the next thing here i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open browser and let's type here chat.deepseek.com if you are coming or visiting deepseek for the first time i would say signing in is pretty easy all you need to do is you need to click on sign in with google and then simply sign in with your account if you are doing this for the first time probably you may require to sign up but sign up in case of deep seek is completely free you do not need to pay even a single penny and all our code work will be done by deep seek and before we proceed further let me talk about our brand new channel which is negitech where we make a video related to PC, computer, hardware and accessories. So if you are interested in computer, PC, hardware and accessories, then do subscribe to Negi Tech. Channel link again are in description down below. Now coming back to DeepSeek, here we want to create uh, this Tetris game. So all we need to do here is uh, we need to ask DeepSeek to write code for us. So I'm going to say create Tetris game in HTML. And let's see what kind of code this deep seek right now all we need to do is wait and there we go here we can see the deep seek have started generating the code now we will just wait for the code to get completed and there we go here we can see the code is completed and we can also see the capability of this game for example this is basic tetris gameplay mechanics it can track score it have got different color pieces we can rotate it, there is a line clearing option and then game over detection which I would say every basic Tetris game will have. And then here we can see these are the control that we can use while playing game and then the game will include seven different Tetris pieces. There will be a basic collision detection, score system based on cleared line and then game over when the piece stack to the top. So all we need to do here is we need to copy this code, go here in your Visual Studio code, and now let's click here on new file. Let's give name of this file as index.html and let's hit OK. Now paste the code that we just copied from DeepSeek. Now let's save it and let's click here on go live. And there we go. So here we can see how the UI of this game look like. Uh, let me make it 200% and here we can see I am controlling this using light or left arrow key and as we read the manual we can rotate these blocks using Q if we want them to go faster then we can press down arrow and here you can see how fast it goes down okay so let's now also see how the score changes whenever we complete this Tetris block. And there we go. So we just got 10 score because we completed one complete line. So this is the way how this game work. But let's say you are not satisfied with the whole UI of this game. So I'm gonna say uh, I want to improve the UI and then probably apart from Q I also would like to you know change the orientation of these basic shape using let's say up arrow and let's also see how the game over work okay so when there is a game over there is no 
particular message coming in. So I'm gonna say, let's improve the overall UI. It's look quite basic. Let's try adding 3D element to it. Also, we need to add Q functionality to up arrow button to change the orientation of the basic block. Also, if you can add more blocks to it, that will be good. And whenever you know there is a game over, there should be proper message, and then there won't be no block falling down. Okay, so these are the changes that I wanted to make. Let's hit OK. Again, here the deep seek will start thinking about the instruction that I gave. So all you need to do is you need to know how to give good instruction and then the remaining part, the coding and all, the AI will do it for us. So here you can see to add 3D effect, it's going to utilize CSS shadow, which I would say for this basic game looks good. So let's wait again for the deep seek to generate complete code. Again, we will wait for the code to get completed. Okay, so here you can see our code is completed now and then the following changes have been made. So we have asked for 3D visual effect. So the following effect is now being added. Then um, here we can see uh, more features, more control improvement and so on. So let me actually copy this code. And then if you are the one, you know, who directly would like to run this in this deep seek environment that you can do that as well. So here we can see this is how this new UI look, but I would consider you to, you know, go to VS code and paste it there because that's going to give you a better clarity of how the things will look. Okay. Okay. So here I have added, and now this is the way this game look like. So in this way, guys, we have generated this basic Tetris game using DeepSeek. Tell us what do you think about it? And if you have faced any difficulty so far, please do let us know in comment down below. We will definitely try to help you out with it. If you want the same code, then do check out the link where I will be adding direct download link for this code. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And also don't forget to subscribe to Negi Tech if you are a PC and hardware geek. And let's catch each other with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.